Wine Country Yarn Hop. Time to talk about it. So I had an absolute blast at the Wine Country Yarn Hop. Um, this yarn hop crawl, however we want to define it, um, went to five different yarn shops um, in like Sonoma County slash a little above in Mendocino, <laughs> but mostly Sonoma County. Um, this year they had a like party bus that they rented. Um, a lucky 20 people got to go on it. Luckily I got a ticket and, um, shout out to my buddy Liz, who I convinced to go with me. So, um, it was pretty fun. It was like kind of luxury-ish, uh, van. They ended up, if you signed up, you got your, your stuff that I'm going to talk about that was all included. Um, and you got like a little goodie bag. And of course you didn't have to drive everywhere. Um, the driving took about the first store we went to, it was about 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. So it was a long day on a bus, but it was really, really fun. So, um, the shops that were all visited, we started at Fiber Circle Studio in Petaluma, then drove out to Noma Knits out in Sonoma, and then Castaway, which is in Santa Rosa. And there we uh, had a little, we had extra time to eat lunch. Then it was Pearls of Joy in Healdsburg. And then the last and final stop was Heidi's Yarn Haven in Ukiah. And then um, when you got to Heidi's Yarn Haven in, Yo in Yo Ukiah, um, you got to see the huge grand prize, which is $1,000 worth from all the stores. Um basket and it was a raffle we had our little cards that we got stamped at every stop and that was the raffle for that but then if you were in the store you also got to do a raffle for their store so in total entered six raffles so fingers crossed i haven't won anything from the other two crawls yet so maybe this is the one third time's a charm right right um and um, it's only this, this is the first one that I had to pay to participate. So for here, it's $7 and every store gives you a special pin and you got a tote bag. And I think, I think it came with a little, a little bit of goodies that were for this. And then because I was on the bus, I got a bag full of goodies, which we're going to go through. Don't worry. But anytime that you went to the store, you got your your card stamped, and then they would also give you a pin at the time. And I really love how they did this. It's like a little trail, so you can, I'll always remember the places that we went, because it's, you know, along the row, road. And then they had a, like, even more special kind of pin uh, that they started running out of. But luckily, I found one and had to snag it. I think it, like... I think when the Sonoma shop, I saw one in the basket and I was like, yoink, sorry guys, that one's mine. Um, and I ended up using this to fill with all of the things that I got. So we'll get to that one too. But um, let me show you a little bit of the journey. Okay, first stop here at Fiber Circle Studio. This is where our yarn crawl began. We got to be here an hour before the store opened just to make sure everything was in time. The store is huge. It is lovely. It has a cute little area to sit and hang out. I got my first pin and I got my first stamp. I thought it would be fun to crochet a little in each shop if there was extra time. Then it was time for a group photo. Most of the people in the photo, then the bus came. So of course, you know, we had to do another group photo and then we're super stoked, super excited to get on. Here we go on to the fun party bus of yarn, um, sitting up close so we don't get car sick, hopefully. So this yarn haul, since we're getting close to fall, my whole thing was I'm just gonna get orange yarn. I'm gonna get fun, different orange yarns to make pumpkins out of for the fall. So my first one, this one was from the First Stop Fiber Circle Studio. It is a merino wool, 100%. Um, it's a nice dark, it's showing up really bright in camera, but it's a fairly dark, like, umber orange color. And I think it's gonna make some great pumpkins. As the bus was pulling off, I've already started a project and that pug body got done on the way to Sonoma for no Noma Knits. 
such a cute little shop. And when I mean little, I mean little. Look at all 20 of us trying to be packed in here. But don't worry, we all got our pins and our stamps. And yes, you see that bunny pin that I got. There was one in a basket and I grabbed it. Outside, they had a pom-pom making station. I have never ever used these before. So with a couple directions from some people, I uh, figured it out and left my mark. While waiting, I did make one head. And there was nowhere to sit, so I had to sit outside. In Norma's, I kept track with my orange yarn, and I got this Juniper Moon Farm, which in the middle, it's got some really, like, good gordy feels there. And this one is made in Italy, so we got those Italian sheep here. And I believe it's cotton and nylon, actually. So there's that one. And then I got this other one, a darker kind of burnt kind of orange one and it is Weepaka and it is Merino and Baby Alpaca 50-50. So um, this one is pretty soft so that'll make some cute pumpkins too. Back on the bus and another head done. What is the earliest known knitted artifact? Mm -hmm. yes. from Egypt, right? yes. Castaway Yarn Shop, third stop on the list. I could not believe how huge and filled with yarn this place is. When I was younger, it used to be a costume shop uh, called Disguise the Limit. So this was cool. Uh, found my things, went to the front, got my third pin and my third stamp. Um, they had so many fun little things to look at in here. Here's a huge ball of yarn and literally their logo like brought to life with yarn. How cool. And this was just too funny, like a can of mackerel. <laughs> Just around the corner was Omelette Express. This decor is on point. Um, decided to get breakfast because you're at a breakfast place. It was super delicious. Staying on brand with the orange. I've got wool in the gang. This is like your quintessential pumpkin pumpkin flavor here. I love that it's called vitamin C because it makes you think of it. And it's 100% cotton and it's really, really soft. Um, and then another one I got is knitting for olive. It's heavy merino so we've got wool again um, another great color for pumpkin a little bit of a drive for our third stop in healdsburg at pearls of joy this place was also wonderful uh, no complaints about any of the places we've been so far uh, found some found a couple things and got my fourth pen and my fourth stamp and they had a little time to crochet, crochet. So in Pearls of Joy, I immediately saw that they have grab bag, like mystery bags. This was only $5 and it said 400 plus yards of cotton. I'm like, whatever it is, I can find something to do with it, right? That's a lot of cotton. Um, so when I opened it up, I found this multicolored cotton yarn uh, right there. And it's a little bits, but we'll find something to make out of it. And then this huge thing here. Uh, it's like it's like a raspberry kind of reddish pinkish magenta. I don't know, but I mean, I'll find a use for it. That's for sure. All right, back on the bus. And for the longest in between stops, we have going to Ukiah. Uh, got another head done, totaling four. Made it to Heidi's Yarn Haven. Love that name. Uh, I was kind of squeezed in there. So this is some of the yarn I saw got my card stamp the very last one there's me so proud with all my pins and my card stamped and then our bus mom snuck in a picture of us waiting for the bus to come back and at Heidi's I found this nice kind of thicker brighter orange that is I think half acrylic oh, acrylic and wool blend and then this I don't know I always call them like a robin egg just because it's like speckly and this one is wool polymid I don't know what that is and vis viscose viscose I don't know but it's saying it's a tweed so we're, it's it's tweed wool tweed um and that's what I got there so the bus ride back um it was long it was like oh like an hour and 20 minutes or so all the way from Ukiah back down to Petaluma where um we started the journey um it got really hard with the bus bouncing and going over you know, the curves on the freeway. Um, so it was really hard to like balance my bag and try to take a video of what I was doing. So I just waited till the end. So the whole time uh, riding and during our little breaks we had, 
Um, I got one pug body done. And I have an event coming up that I need to make a whole bunch of dolls for. So I got up to six heads done, which pretty impressed. That'll be great. And then I started a um, little white owl. And that's what I got done the whole day while yarn crawling. What was in the goodie bag? I don't know. Let's see. So in this bag we all got for being on the bus, there were tons of little snacky things and even stores gave us little snackies and water in a carton. That'll be exciting. Um, and then each shop donated some stuff. I dropped. No, I didn't. Um, Castaway gave us their little like note card flyer. Gave us a cool sticker of theirs. And I noticed these in the shop. So this is really cute. Little felted hearts. I don't know if you can see the felted heart. Very cute. And pink. So, you know, I like that. Then uh, per Pearls of Joy gave a sweet 20% off coupon. Um, a little satchel of lavender, maybe? Something in there. Then a sweet pencil. And a little container here of stitch markers. One pink one and a bunch of black. It's like opposite of the black sheep, right? Um, this one was not labeled. I don't know who, what shop donated it, but grateful. It's pink. Um, this is some mer merino and nylon yarn hand dyed. Um, really cute colors there. Got a logo sticker from Circle Studio. Fiber Circle Studio. Uh, this one is Norma Knits donated row counter, a little um, stitch marker with their name on it, and then two little heart locket stitch markers, which are cute. And last but not least, Heidi's donated some like more stitch markers, their card, and can never have too many darning needles because. Those always get lost. So thank you to everyone that put stuff in that bag. It's definitely going to get used. Okay, wrap up time. Um, I, like I said earlier, thoroughly enjoyed myself. It was great. Um, uh, pros, I would say, is definitely getting to collect those pins. I think $7 was an amazing deal for getting a tote bag. Four, no, sorry, five pins. And the little goodies that came along. Uh, the bus ticket, I feel $140 it costs. I still feel, I feel like that's worth it. Um, to not have the stress of going, um, you know, driving yourself to all these places, especially since they're so spread out and depending on where you come from, I know, um, where I came from, it take it takes me about an hour and a half just to get to Petaluma. And I know someone that came that's, uh, lives like 20 minutes from me. Um, farther away so it took them like two hours just to get to Petaluma um, so definitely the bus ride was awesome uh, having the opportunity to do that was great and uh, the time they allowed it was about an hour every stop which I think worked out perfect um, enough time to look around pick out some stuff hang up you know take a little rest if there's a coffee shop nearby with him some people went and got coffee went to the bathroom excellent that was great. Um, any cons, I would say, I don't know if it was just that bus or just because I haven't been on a bus in a really long time, but I was very, very bouncy. And I know quite a few people got a little bit motion sickness. Um, maybe that's our own faults. I don't know. I, I brought my Dramamine because I know how I get, but it still even did it to me a little bit. Um, but also it might have been the heat. I don't know. Um, any other cons I can think of? I don't really think so. That was like my only thing that I didn't like was the bounciness of the bus. That was it. Yeah. So yeah, I would um, definitely do it again. If you haven't yarn crawled before, you are missing out because it is pretty fun. And oh, another con, spending the day with like nine, 19 new people uh, was actually like really fun because each stop you'd, you know, chat, chat or on the bus, um, chit chat about stuff. So that was awesome. And yeah, I think that's all I would say about that. Uh, thanks for watching. And I have one more yarn crawl planned. It is the Sierra Nevada yarn crawl. 
which I'm trying to remember is something from like Auburn up to Truckee around Lake Tahoe and then there's one or something in Reno. I know that one is a little smaller. I think there was like five or eight shops I can't remember but um that's happening in September so there'll be one more video like this coming up for sure.